Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Lico 364 and nested list weight is sum two. So in here we can see the description and I will uh, explain this example right away right now. So now you see um, this is a list of a list. Actually, this is a special interface right here we use. So you have integer or another list in this case. So what it can as eight is, in this case, two is the higher level and one is lower level. Lower level have factor of one. So now we have four lower level. So we time one and two is in the, in the higher level, which two higher level have factor of two. So you need time two, so it become an eight. So in this case, we have well, six is the lowest lowest level. So the multiplication is one. So go back to another level. We have four multiplied by two and plus one multiplied by three. And this is based on their level. So you see six, four, one, six, four, one, and one, two, three as their level. And now we come up with total as 17. So now this is how they calculate this. All right. And in this case, I will uh, write this code first and I will explain it along the way. So first uh, we return, we need a helper function that will take in the nested list and the sum will be starting from zero. Public, um, public, uh, we we'll return an int it's called help per function. We we'll have um, nested list, nested integer, it's called list, I call, and also, um, integer called sum. Okay, now we have total. We need to calculate the total and return the total eventually. So the total will have equal to sum. We keep that sum just in case. Return the total eventually because different level have different sum. So uh, that's the helpful part in this uh, solution. What we can do, if it's in this case, what we need to do is capture every integer only. We capture integer and make all the next level in another empty list. So we need a list to capture next level like a uh, list of nested integer temporary to capture next level. So now we have a for loop that loop through the nested integer in the, uh, which is E in list. Now we have an input list, which is original one. We look through the whole thing and we put, if we, we can accumulate, if it's an integer, then which is in here, you can use this function right here. It's called, uh, it's integer and get integer, set integer at and get list. So if it's not integer, then that is a list. And yeah, so if we see a list, we put everything in the list to the temporary that we create. And uh, yeah, if we have that in the temporary, we can uh, recursion again to call this helper function. And also capture the integer for this level. So now f, E dot is integer 
and total at plus um oh, what's that e dot get integer so now we get the integer inside the total now so if else so not integer then will be a list so tem dot add or at all is at everything inside that list and then we provide a list called e dot get list things get list right okay it's called get list here so now you get the list and put everything in the list into the temporary list in here so now we have this list and we put all the one inside uh the temporary now after you put everything you have the sum total currently all right well, if a term is not empty that means we have next level then we need to return total plus um a helper function that will take in a temporary list which is the next level's things and we'll add it to the sum which is total that we have for current level eventually we return the total i hope that um it's clear enough so we can have this put it in here as example now we capture one total is one right now and and here's a temporary list which is temporary like this we capture four which is n six because this is a list right we break this down get four inside and another list which is six in the temporary list yeah this is a for loop and we get this two thing done after the for loop after this for loop and check if this is still have things for next level this is next level right and then we we do this level so now we put total which is upper level we accumulated in the next level so one accumulated in the current level and accumulated in second level because we added to the sum in here in the next level which is when we recursion for the six later on we also have the one that in the second level to bring it that to third level hopefully it is easy to explain in this way and four have it in that level and also bring four to the next level which is two time so this is how the lab they determine the level one by one it's really cool explanation and i like the way that they use this way to uh go down to define the levels it's really clever and i hope you get this number i mean solution if you have questions, please comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But I forgot to run it, sorry. <laughs> okay, it looks good. Cool, so it's 100% right now. Um, yeah, I hope you get a little bit better on coding until we see you next time. Bye-bye.